What's up YouTube, how you guys doing? Today we're gonna talk about another one of the excursions we went on in Mexico, Explore. Explore is an adventure park and the great thing about it, it is all inclusive. You have uh, all you can eat lunch as well and all you can drink drinks. I don't think you can drink alcohol because there are some rides where you're driving, which was pretty cool. Uh, we will say ahead of time, it is one of those things that I think we tried it once. I don't think we're gonna go back again. It was a great time, it was amazing, but it was enough to, uh, to go just one time. The reason why we say it's like a one-time thing, it was our honeymoon, so the reason why we like Shellha is because it was so relaxing and we could just chill. But Explore is adventure-packed, on the go, a lot of thrill-seeking, thrill adrenaline, which is what we love. But <laughs> again, if you're looking for something more chill and something more relaxing, I don't think this would be the place for you. No, it's definitely more upbeat, uh, a lot of walking, a lot of waiting. So the great thing is when you come in, uh, you get free lockers. And we did have waterproof cell phone cases. Highly recommend waterproof cell phone cases if you want to take uh, pictures and videos while you're inside all the attractions, especially in the water. Uh, you had to wear a helmet at all times. So you had a helmet, they even gave you a wristband that's linked to the helmet. And they had a similar thing with the way that Shell All had it, where there's tons of photo opportunities all around the park. There, you'll see a, a sign that says scan here, you'll scan your wristband, and then you have a couple seconds to, you know, to pose for a photo. Also, when you're on the rides, your helmet like scans at a certain area so that there's pictures of you mid-air on the zip lines and just like Shell Hall, all these pictures are for one price. You have the chance to take, take as many as you possibly can so you can get the full uh, money's worth. The photos were, were amazing. I do like some of the photo opportunities. They have pretty cool funny stuff that you can take photos with like different like cavemen, you know, cave women. The first thing we did when we got there was we tried to do the amphibious vehicles. The reason why we did that is because we did not want to wait in line for the zip lines. And I'm glad that we did do that because right when we started going into the line for the amphibious vehicles, we didn't wait that long. I, of course, did not want to drive, so Mark Roberts drove the vehicle. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It went on a bunch of different trains. Uh, they didn't go really, really fast like you would expect, but it was still pretty fun, pretty adventurous. Got to go on some, um, like some dirt, some hills. There's even, it's an amphibious vehicle, so there's a section where you go through like some water. So the vehicle is like half in the water. It's cool, and we went also went through some caves, which I got scared of. If you didn't know, I am scared of the dark. So holding on to Mark Robert tightly, but it was actually really cool. Yeah, it was really cool, and then that's when you had to flick the lights on, you know, to yep. drive through the cave. There's one time, you know, I turned it off for a little bit. It was so dark, I turned it back on. Yeah. I think another, one con of the amphibious vehicles is there is a speed limit and Mark Robert was pressing as hard as he could on the pedal and it was maybe going like 15 miles per hour if that uh, maybe or... yeah may, maybe if that yeah I'm not sure the exact speed but mm -hmm. wasn't as fast as you, you would think but and also with the amphibious vehicles I think you're only allowed uh, two rotations on that ride you're only allowed to go twice so just keep that in mind but honestly, one time was enough for us to experience that. Next thing that we really like, you know, no matter where we go in the world, we always talk about wanting to zip line. And here and explore, I feel like we've got our zip line fix for life. Like there's uh, two different zip line courses. One of them is longer. One of them is you know shorter than the other. Um, the shorter one contains like two or three you know different zip lining zip line sections. You know it, it was pretty cool. It was fun. Uh, the longer one I had multiple. I want to say what was it seven? Mm -hmm. Like seven. Like you zip line from one post to the next. Then you wait a line. Zip line to the next one to the next. Wait a line. You know for seven times. And man, that was really oh my god. That was so fun. It was so exhilarating it was just awesome how was your experience with the zip line i agree i just hated the walk up there is at one point it was just a constant uh circle like what is that? a spiral going up and that was deadly i was huffing and puffing but I did lose a little bit of pounds that day, but it was really fun. We did try <laughs> to ask if we could go together, but I think you're only able to go together if like weigh a certain amount. Uh, we both thickums, so we couldn't. Uh, we did see two girls, like two like, teenage girls, yeah, right. being able to ride together, or they were saying if it's like a parent and a young child, usually that's the case of them going together. So if you are going with friends and you guys do weigh maybe below 300 
uh, combined try to go together I think that'd be a fun experience but um, I did like the fact that some of the zip lines me and Mark Robert could go at the same time we might not have been together but we at least got to zip line at the same time also another thing with the zip line uh, was a pretty cool experience they also have uh, they call it the hammock splash so same thing it's a zip line as well but this time you're you're on a hammock and you go start super high you go down until you land in the water oh my god that, that water is so fun so you sit in the hammock actually you grab the hammock um and you take it up to like a couple of steps mm -hmm. um and then you have to they hook it on for you and then you sit on and you just go and it was an amazing experience because you're just chilling and then the water just splashes on you. I think me and Mark Robert both got videos of us on it. Mm -hmm. And then the hammock splash, same thing. Like I think you, you splash from one end to another and I think you go about two or three different um, zip lines until you reach the final end of the ride. So that, that was pretty cool to have those different experiences. Next up was the rafting. Uh, that part was actually, uh, what was it? It was fun, it was... Annoying, annoying irritating. Hectic. Well, it was a good experience because you could choose to be on a tandem raft or just a solo raft. And of course, you know, being the married couple we are, uh, we chose the tandem raft. And there was a sign that said, I don't know the exact words, something along the lines, if you do not want a divorce, then uh, go on the single raft. When you go on there with, on a tandem raft, they give you these um, hand flippers, both of you guys have and you both have to kind of paddle your way through it and you have to coordinate with each other so that way you're turning and going at the right speed and turning to the right direction you know one person you know turning the wrong way and, and uncoordinated you'll just be lost and not be able to go directly to where you want to go to that's funny we actually saw uh, like an, an older, older couple <laughs> older couple just yelling at each other mad angry just they just could not coordinate with it. I mean, Rachel, we... I think we did pretty good, though. Yeah, we did pretty good. We had a couple moments, you know, a little frustration, but nothing too bad, right? Mm -hmm. and, it, and that water, oh my god, that water is so cold, and the part was a cool experience. And it was a nice little natural body workout, so uh, be prepared to, you know, expand some calories. So lastly, they had the Underground River, uh, which was a pretty cool experience, and for the most part, you can walk across the water unless you're you know below average height you, know, <laughs> you might uh need to swim a little bit i am not a good swimmer so a lot of the times mark robert would be pulling me by my legs and like kind of taking me with him oh, yeah. it's cool because again they do have those photo ops there and they have a picture of me just being like just she's on a <laughs> jacket floating and i'm just Kind of carrying her along while she's just floating mm -hmm. in the water, relaxing. It was nice to do that just because it's on your own pace. There's no one like um, behind you telling you, oh, you have to keep going. There's at points where we kind of just stopped and chilled just because it got tiring. Because you're walking and you're swimming through this little underground river. And they had certain sections where they had like little obstacle like ropes. Some people like crawled on top of the ropes, you know, crawled to the other side. Um, I decided to just swim underneath and try to get all the way across, which was an adventurous, fun thing to do. The cool thing about the Underground River is that it led to this obstacle course where it led to the slide. We did get to go on the slide together, which was so fun. Uh, going towards the slide, that's, it had more obstacle courses if you wanted to. Yeah, so Explorer was pretty, uh, a cool spot where we were able to experience every single attraction that was there. But that is all for our Explorer video. I hope this does help you guys. If you decide to go to Explorer and you wanted to know a little bit about it, I hope we helped you on that journey. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything about traveling, let us know, comment down below, or you guys can go to our Instagram at, at Ruiz Riveras. All right, YouTube, thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, show us that support. Also drop any comments below if you guys have any ideas of what places we should visit next either in your hometown or anywhere in the world. Uh, we'd love to uh, go and visit there. So all right. Thank you YouTube. You guys have a blessed day.